Nicotine is a highly addictive chemical found in the tobacco plant. It is physical as well as mental addiction in which a user craves nicotine. Signs of nicotine addiction include an inability to stop using tobacco products, a desire to keep smoking even when health complications arise and continued use of tobacco products even if it negatively impacts your life. Nicotine increases dopamine and serotonin which are pleasure hormones. When these hormones are released, person feels happy. The feeling of happiness at this stage is without any reason, also called euphoria which means false happiness. A person when smokes a cigarette containing nicotine, it causes dopamine rush in the brain which makes a person smoking addict. Nicotine addiction is extremely harmful for health. Cigarette smoke contains over 4,000 toxins which damage the cells and cause severe inflammation over a passage of time. It increases the risk of heart attack and lung cancer. The toxins are deposited in lung cells cause cancer of lungs. Cigarette smoke has cancer-producing toxins like ammonia, formaldehyde, carbon monoxide. These toxins are associated with the cancers of mouth, throat, lungs, bladder and uterus. Two packs a day for 20 years can cause loss of 14 years of life. Chronic tobacco use causes repeated dopamine rush in the brain which eventually desensitize the mechanism of euphoria. As a result, a person increases the daily nicotine intake because the brain is no more responsive to the number of cigarettes he used to take previously. Acetaldehyde is the component in tobacco smoke which reinforces nicotine dependence in adults. The body adapts to constant high levels of dopamine, more and more nicotine is required to have pleasurable effects. Smoking cessation produces several withdrawal symptoms like cravings for nicotine, irritability, anxiety, depression, anger and insomnia. Some people are more prone to nicotine dependence when they are once exposed to nicotine. Genetics are also involved in nicotine addiction. People who tend to metabolize nicotine slowly take few cigarettes a day and it is more easier for them to quit smoking. The development of nicotine addiction depends on the speed and amount of nicotine absorption in the brain. Within few seconds of smoking, nicotine is absorbed into the brain, resulting in pleasurable effects. These pleasurable effects last only a few minutes. That is why smokers tend to smoke many times a day. Treatment of tobacco addiction consists of behavioral therapies as well as medicinal therapies. These medications can help people quit smoking by reducing the cravings. Bupropion is the most used medicine for nicotine dependence. It alters the dopamine levels in the brain which reduce nicotine cravings and reduce withdrawal symptoms. Bupropion is taken in tablet form for 12 weeks, but if you have successfully quit smoking in that time, you can use it for a further 3 to 6 months to reduce risk of smoking relapse. Another drug is varenicline which interferes with nicotine receptors, which results in the reduction of the pleasure you get from having nicotine. Varenicline is used for 12 weeks, but again, if you have successfully kicked the habit, then you can use the drug for another 12 weeks to reduce smoking relapse risk. Risks involved with using these drugs include behavioral changes, depressed mood, aggression, and suicidal thoughts. Nicotine replacement therapy combined with these medications has a more beneficial effect. Nicotine replacement therapy include nicotine gums, nicotine skin patch, nasal sprays and lozenges. Nicotine replacement therapy can reduce the cravings and withdrawal symptoms you experience which makes it difficult for you to quit smoking. NRTs are designed to supply you with a controlled dose of nicotine while saving you from exposure to other chemicals found in tobacco. A person may experience dizziness, vomiting and mouth problems while using these products. 
Addicted tobacco users who stop using nicotine products will face withdrawal symptoms. Effects of nicotine withdrawal include irritability, anxiety, and physical symptoms, such as headaches and fatigue. The first week will be the worst for withdrawal symptoms, but each passing day will get easier. When withdrawal symptoms subside, sudden cravings are common.